Hey everybody, it's Kenny Cummings here of Chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. Thank you all for listening. Everybody continues to be safe during these times. And uh, I'm with my guest at this time. She is a singer, songwriter from the Pacific Northwest who, from my understanding, is relocating in the future uh, and to talk about that and many other things. I'm Sophia Borden. How's it going? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for taking this time and uh, doing this interview. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. So before I get into the questions, um, obviously with the circumstances that we are in, how are you holding on with this whole pandemic? How are you feeling? Um, I'm I'm feeling good. I mean, yeah, it's definitely been crazy. Um, yeah, like you said, I'm relocating next month in July. So I've been spending a lot of my time at home just packing and throwing things away and just getting ready to move across the country. So, <laughs> so for my understanding, you live in the, the Seattle slash Tacoma area currently? Yeah, I, yep. Yeah. That's where I live right now. Okay, and uh, where exactly are you going to be relocating at? So I'm going to be moving to Tennessee um, in the Nashville area, and I'm going to be pursuing my country music there and hopefully having a good time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's good to hear. Congratulations on that. Hope everything turns out. Well, from you, um, you know, obviously, there's a lot going on, and uh, people try to do the best they can, given the circumstances. So, um, obviously, you and, and the genre that you do, that's definitely the mecca of country music, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I have had chats with some Nashville-based artists. They... Uh, Places are starting to reopen. Um, some bars, some venues are starting to reopen. Um, slowly but surely. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out, especially with you um, relocating there and uh, continuing to pursue your career there. Um, so with all that being said, uh, how did you get started into music? How did it start off for you? Yeah, so when I was around eight years old, I started vocal lessons just kind of as a hobby, not really wanting to do anything with it. It was just something to do. <laughs> and then I just found a love for music in general, but then I started singing um, country music. The first song I ever performed was um, The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert. And that song has just stuck with me through the years, just lyrically and I mean just the song is so amazing in general and I just wanted to do country music I just love the storytelling aspect and I am so fortunate to be able to actually pursue my dreams of becoming a singer because I know you know there are other people there are artists out there who aren't as fortunate as me so yeah I started really young I just knew this is what I wanted to do. I had opportunities at a young age to move to um, Tennessee, but my parents were really um, wanted me to experience high school and um, wanted to know that this is what I wanted to do. And it wasn't just a, you know, fun and games kind of thing. Cause, cause it's, cause it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's not, you know, all easy all the time. So, um, so yeah, I just, just from a young age, I just knew that this is how I wanted to spend my life. So you mentioned Mo uh, Miranda Lambert. Um, who else are some of your um, influences, those that inspired you into doing the music? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I saw on your Instagram that Carly Pierce had wished you a happy birthday, which happy birthday, by the way. Yes. <laughs> um, and she is one of my, just everything about her. I just love who she is as a person, how she writes, the type of music that she sings. I, I love her. 
I love George Strait. Um, outside of country music, I love Stevie Wonder, just Motown in general. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really into anything, but um, yeah, the, basically the people who tell stories in their songs, that, that's, that's what I want to do. So that's, that's who I look up to. I love the choices. I also like that Carly Pierce uh, pick too. Uh, I, I I do love me some Carly Pierce. Uh, she, she's a Kentuckian. I live in Kentucky currently. I support mm-hmm. local music over there, and I didn't even know that Carly Pierce was from Kentucky until months ago. So I'm like, okay, oh, wow. all right. <laughs> um, and, and when I saw that she's doing like video messages, I'm like, I got, I got to get a birthday shout out or something. And uh, she, uh, she's a sweetheart, so shout out to her. Um, and you know, and seeing that you, you are moving, you're gonna be living a little closer to me. You're like three, four hours away from me. So mm-hmm. maybe when things start to get back to some sort of normalcy. Maybe when things don't get too restricted around here, uh, I'll definitely have to make my way to Tennessee and uh, see you perform on uh, one of these days. For sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, I see um, you already have some music out. Uh, you released an a EP uh, recently, uh, self-titled, mm-hmm. I believe it is. Uh, it's available on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, and Google Play. Uh, what was it like recording this EP? Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm still <laughs> trying to process that I actually did that. Cause that was, that's been my dream for I don't even know how long. But yeah, I knew going in on this EP that I just, I mean, this is my debut of of who I am. So I wanted to just be positive. I didn't want any breakup songs or any, you know, kind of negative vibes on on these songs. So I just wrote three songs that I knew I wanted to cut right when I walked into the studio. So Blame It On My Heart was the first song that I ever um, released. And it was the first song that was ever played on the radio. And I mean, I've just had such an amazing time with this song. And um, I just wanted a love song, just a simple, just easygoing, I love you, love song. <laughs> and um, yeah, You Ain't Him, my um, song for my EP. I just, I really wanted a song that was about moving on from a relationship, but to be written in a way where it was, like I said, positive And it was like a good thing that what I wanted to work out didn't. Because I feel like there's a lot of songs just out there right now that are very like, um, I hate you. I don't ever want to see you again. (laughs) That kind of, um, just vibe from those songs, but prove you wrong. Definitely is my favorite of the EP just because I have just been waiting to release a song like that, that just kind of tells haters that, you know, I don't really care what you think. I am doing what I love and I am focusing on the people who, want me to succeed and who support me and are there for me. And I'm, I mean, it's just, it's just such a good song. (laughs) I just, I just love, I love that song. So, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you know, from majority of country singers and artists that I've talked with throughout the years, you know, some are into the love songs, some into the heartbreaking I think more people are into the heartbreaking, you know, because it's raw and and authentic and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, whatever whatever, um, they feel at the time, you don't put the feelings out. And I think that's what music is. That's that's the joy of it. Just whatever you're feeling, you just put put your feelings out there. It's kind of like poetry and just Mm -hmm. and put some melody into it. And uh, people sing along and. uh, uh, so uh, Sophia Borden self-titled debut EP is out right now on all digital music platforms. Give it a listen. You know she is relocating soon, so you you can help put them streams up. 
while she's on her way. Uh, Please. To the, uh, so, yeah, you're going from Pacific Standard Time to the rainy Washington State. You're going into Nashville uh, and surrounding areas. Um, as far as, you know, what do you look forward to the most as you make that move? As far as doing shows or networking with fellow artists, what are you looking forward to the most as you make that move to Nashville? I definitely am, like you said, I'm looking at other artists, other songwriters, but I am looking forward to the most is probably getting involved in the writer's rounds. I mean, that is the root of what I do. I just, I love writing. I want to write with other people in the industry and just kind of make my mark there. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to just grow as an artist and as a person in a whole new state, I've been in Washington for pretty much my whole life. So, I mean, experiencing something totally different is going to be really scary, but um, I know it'll be good for me. And I'm just really excited. I'm excited to have nice weather. (laughs) That's what I'm really looking forward to. It's like really rainy and weather can't make up its mind here. So it'll be good to have a little bit of consistency (laughs) so yeah i mean i'm just looking forward to whole new life there yeah from i i got family that lives there in the seattle olympia tacoma areas and they always tell me mother nature just has no mercy (laughs) (laughs) when it comes to that when it comes when it comes to that particular state i don't know who said what what who did who to who who did something wrong but just i mean um rain could be a good thing but when you have it way too many days or just when it happens too too often yeah it's probably like man Mm -hmm. i had a barbecue playing with my friends and mother nature (laughs) had to take that away from me i'm just gonna stay home uh yeah that's exactly what it's like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so um so uh, were you able to do some shows uh prior to things being shut down and if so what were some of your favorite moments of shows that you did prior to um things getting shut down um yeah so i here in my town i do a lot of open mic nights so I was doing that um, before everything happened. And my favorite place to do open mic nights is at Kimball Coffee House here in Gig Harbor. They are so nice and they have the best coffee. <laughs> um, they always are so welcoming and supportive of local artists. Um, probably another place that I loved to perform is the Tacoma Lawn and Tennis Club. Um, I performed there a couple years in a row. They're always so nice. And there's little kids that come there for the the tennis tournament, and I always sit like right in front of my microphone and <laughs> watch me play. And I mean, that's why I do it. I just want to be a role model for um, younger kids, and I just think that's so sweet. And it's just such a pure thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love doing open mics. I love doing little gigs. I love. I did. Um, the Women's Wellness Expo here in Gig Harbor last year, and that was such an amazing performance. I had um, such a great time. So, I mean, really, every show that I've ever done is just my favorite. <laughs> so, For more info on Sophia, you can check out her website at www.sophiaboarding.com. That's S O F I A. Boy, as in the gender boy in D E N, um, Sophia Borden dot com. Go check out the website. More info on her. Well, not personal info, just her music. So um, don't don't get any ideas. But uh, and uh, her self titled EP is out. Um, so go stream that. Go buy it. Go purchase it. And with artists not being able to perform for quite a while, um, definitely go go buy the music if you are financially able to. Um, so you mentioned 
you you love going into the wider rounds type of shows, you know, hearing people's stories as far as writing songs, uh, you know, as it pertains to those shows. Um, you, what what stands out to you when you hear uh, the stories of fellow artists as far as them writing songs when you go to these type of shows? I just admire the. I mean, the storytelling aspect, but when it comes from such a personal place in their life, that's almost like, wow, I would never have shared that, but they had the courage to write a song about it and just go into great detail about the pain, the struggle or the happiness and the love, just, I mean, all that kind of stuff that that's, that's what inspires me as a songwriter. Um, and I just, that I just look up to that because I know that there have been so many times I've written songs in the past that I was okay, I'm just going to keep this song to my, I don't know if anyone else will relate to it, but it seems like with all the personal songs that are released, I'm like, Oh, I've experienced that. I've been through that. I know what that's like. So that's why artists like Carly Pierce and, Miranda Lambert and I mean even Taylor Swift like they just inspire me to become a better writer and be more descriptive and more open to sharing the personal experiences. I definitely enjoyed going to those shows as well just to hear the stories and just the thought process. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fun sh show to go to and definitely you know artists can definitely learn from each other so that's uh mm -hmm. it's a win-win for for fans and for artists all together um uh, well uh so it was great chatting with you uh, i know you've been packing a lot getting ready for this <laughs> move but i appreciate you taking this time and doing this interview uh continue to be safe and uh wish you a uh best of luck as you make the move to Nashville and uh, thanks again for being on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And uh, that will conclude the interview. Thank you everyone for listening. Continue to be safe out there and uh, we'll chat again soon.